Hi, this is Ron Gannett, and during the summer months, we've been asking ourselves as grand mentors, how can we coach, encourage, and help the generations coming behind us to be successful with the challenges of life? You know, one of the biggest challenges I've discovered are the friends, the associates that our children and grandchildren have. Friends shape us. My dad used to say that a person is a product of their training. And you know, we are really impacted more than we think by our friends. In fact, the book of Proverbs in chapter 18 and verse 24, it says, A man of many companions may come close to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. What the sage is trying to teach us is that friends can impact us. They can impact us negatively or they can impact us positively. You know, in our life, I've discovered that there are two kinds of friends that our children can have. One is a kind of friend that's above them. And if you take this rope, it's someone who is pulling them up, trying to be a mentor, a spiritual influence, an encourager, uh, someone who is there to help them become whom they want to be. You know, we maybe you had a parent, I had a dad, I had a mom. I've had other pastors in my life who have encouraged me, and they have pulled me up to mentor me to be the person that God wants me to be. But then also we have people who are below us, and the people below us are those that we are pulling up, that we are encouraging and helping to be uh, the person God wants them to be. You know, as long as someone is helping us, or we are helping someone else, those friendships are good, healthy friendships. But... When someone comes and pulls us sideways, it dis distorts the wonderful purposes that God has for our lives. I remember as a young boy, I was with a group of kids one night, and this boy brought a slingshot and some BBs. And all of a sudden, he took that slingshot and those BBs, and when we passed another car, he would bust out the windshield with that BB. And you know, I thought, here, this friend is influencing influencing this whole group of boys to be like him. And the depths of my heart, I realized that's not the kind of person I wanted to be. And today I ask you, are you teaching your kids to have friends that help them or friends that they are helping and to avoid the friends that would take them sideways? Recently, I was invited to walk into a home of someone who just lost a parent. And I got there and was invited in because of a friend of theirs who had tried to walk this journey of sickness and death with this dear one. And then when the hour came, they needed a pastor. And this friend took me over, invited me to be a part of the ministry that he was having there. And when I walked away from that home and they were encouraged by the word of God and praying together, I thought to myself, it all happened because of one special friend that encouraged, that tried to be an influence to mentor them. I ask you today, how can you help those coming behind you to be the kind of friend God wants them to be, to look to those and respect the people that they need to respect, and by God's grace, to be a friend and to have friends that will shape them.